And you guys have basically been in stealth mode yes. until now, so it's great to have you here. What does this Google deal actually mean in terms of supercharging your business? Well, it's all about promoting innovation. So it's not just about VR, but any kind of complex online world has always been very challenging to build and extremely risky to create. I mean, people spend hundreds of millions of dollars trying to build massive, detailed virtual worlds. So with our technology and Google's backing, developers can now basically do that for free, at least during development. So why do you think VR hasn't taken off just yet? Is it cost? Is it, is it you know, the headsets? They're, they're simply too expensive? Or, or is there just not an appetite out there now? I think it's about finding a killer app, mm -hmm. something that people just can't do without. It was Halo that sold the Xbox. Um, you, you need an experience that people want to buy the platform just to have. That's similar to something uh, Nintendo America President Reggie fils uh told us. Take a listen to what he had to say when I asked him about VR last week. When our game developers have a brilliant idea that can only be done through virtual reality, that's the day that you'll see us engage in that technology. But the games and the experience always comes first at Nintendo. So he's talking there about why they haven't invested heavily yet. Are they making a mistake? Are they going to be behind? Well, I think you've got to experiment in order to try and find out what's fun. Um, one of the first things that we've realized is not just for VR, but all kinds of online worlds. Um, developers can't really iterate very easily. Um, finding the fun usually happens with a small team, three or four people working even in the largest companies to find something that works. Um, so you've got to investigate these things and experiment in order to try and find something that could be a killer app. And do you see potential for VR what sort of potential do you see for VR to move out of a niche set of hardcore gamers uh, to, you know, broader so, world? So I think the key thing is to distinguish between VR devices, which are really a way of interacting with VR worlds and the worlds themselves. Um, when we think about the world Don't you need one to experience the other? Well, kind of. But if you're simulating a city or modeling infrastructure or doing other things that require the same kind of computational power, it's not just the visuals that matter. It's being able to actually recreate behavior in order to answer questions you couldn't answer before. So in that regard, I think the real VR revolution is going to be how we use VR worlds to solve problems we couldn't solve before. OK, so outside of gaming, where do you see the most common use case? Well, I'll give you just one example. Um, we're looking at problems right now in telecoms, where just figuring out where a company has coverage and how they should think about investment in their infrastructure is really challenging. But if you build a massive scale simulation of your infrastructure and of all of your subscribers, you can see insight that you can't even get from machine learning or past data. You can literally try things in VR and see how they impact the real world. And this side of the industry just isn't talked about enough. It isn't something people have fresh in their heads. We're very much dominating the conversation with the talk of the device. And for me, that's just the beginning. So do you think it'll end up being more of a consumer thing or more of an enterprise thing? Both. I think um, we're likely to see one great new killer app, a virtual world that wouldn't have been possible without technology like ours or VR headsets or the combination of the two. Um, and that'll spike consumer interest. But businesses, I think, will pivot in a big way, um, particularly in heavy industry and where you're dealing with loads of complicated infrastructure to actually using VR to understand that infrastructure. Now Google has its own VR ambitions. They were also part of the uh, augmented, uh, they, were, they were behind Niantic which produced that uh, augmented reality hit Pokemon Go. Curious if there's any potential for future Google involvement in your company. Uh, there's, a, there's been hints of a, of a Google interested in acquisition, um, you know, what are your plans? Uh, so, well, we're building an operating system, and the only way that can be successful is if we work with an ecosystem of companies, mm -hmm. not just one. Um, game developers and developers in general want to know that they can trust who they're working with and that there's going to be many options available to them. So we're intending to stay as neutral and independent as we possibly can. Um, Google is a great partner that we think we can do a lot with, but there are many other people that we feel we should partner with as well, providing other components of that ecosystem.